Hey, good evening guys. Welcome back to the vlog. We are still here in Sandpoint, Idaho, and that annoying noise is Seth. <laughs> He's cutting Kenlin. Seth's cutting us up some Kenlin for tonight. Yeah, right right in half. Cut that one in half again. Give it a go. And so uh, Seth's practicing, learning how to chop Kenlin. He's already cut up this Kenlin right here for us. And he hasn't even chopped his hand off yet. <laughs> Here we go. Too small? I'll right, give it a try. All right, he's cutting up the kindling. Thanks, Heather. So we got all this firewood right here. And here's something, guys, that I've never tried before. I wanna see how they burn. It says it burns cleaner and greener energy logs. And these things are heavy. I'm surprised how heavy they are. But anyway, it's all like sawdust pressed together. It's good for campfires, wood stoves, cooking fireplaces, all kinds of stuff. Try one of those tonight and see what it does. 100% recycled. What's up, Sarah? Can I borrow a can opener? Yeah, do you have one? No, I don't know where it is. Searching for the can opener. Oh, this is our tent. We got it all uh, put here in the middle in case it gets wet in here. Like, look right over there in the very corner. There's a little bit of water. That's because it was raining today. Like, most of the day it was raining. Like, but not like super hard rain, but it was raining all day. Sir? Oh, can I present in there? Bye. Yeah. Because even though we put this tarp up here, guys, it's still rain. I mean, it comes down a little bit. Right here, it runs off of here and goes down this and then drips. And so it splashes a little bit on the tent there. But that's okay. Just get a little tiny bit of water in the tent. This guys' tent, man, it's so new. We got this last year for Sarah and Seth. And uh, it's still like waterproof. It doesn't get wet at all. So tonight, guys, what are we having? We're having chili. These are chili beans. We got buns over there. There's hot dogs laying around here somewhere. I don't know where they are. We'll show you those later, though. Jules cooked up some water for us. And for you guys who are in Indonesia, this is our camp stove. These are propane bottles right here. They screw on. And then uh, you got the burners right here. I'll show you how it works. Go like this. Maybe you can hear it. There you go. You can turn it up. Turn it down, turn it off. And you cook on there, you got one here, one over here. You operate this one by this knob over here. If you want it to work, you use that one. Then we got the food down in here, coffee. What is the best part of waking up? Soldiers in your, wait, Folgers in your cup. That's right, it's Folgers in your cup. That's the slogan anyway. Let's see how Sarah's doing here, cutting up the, Metal. whoa buddy. Up the middle. That's a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. Is it supposed to look like that? I don't know. Look, it's a little hard. Like it's like catches on the edge, you know, like it's supposed to. And then, dude. Let me um, let me let me try here. You go backwards. Oh, you're supposed to go backwards. Well, you can go either way, but with this one, backwards tends to work better. Hmm. I was doing it okay. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> there we go. All right, Seth is in charge of building our campfire tonight. Look at that. Well, that's cool. It's a hole. Yeah, where the branch came through it. Uh -huh. So he's got our <clears throat> newspaper all crumpled up. Yep. And there's a couple different ways to build a campfire, huh, Seth? Uh-huh. What are, what are the two different, main two different ways that we know? Um, well, there's the teepee where you put the um, newspaper in the middle and then you build like a teepee around it, like on top of it. Or there's the... Well, what do you call it? A box? Or? I call it the skyscraper. The skyscraper. Because it like builds a skyscraper and then you get yeah. to burn it. <laughs> Sarah's doing a great job of opening up our cans now. Look at that. Uh -oh. Look at he split. I was doing it's fine cool. earlier. You were? <laughs> yeah. You were doing I was great. Doing fine. It's just a little messy looking. Still a little messy looking actually. So let's look at that sunset. <laughs> wow. Where is that sun? That's way up there still. We got a long ways to go. Yeah, long ways, a couple hours. <laughs> but it's seven o'clock at night, Jules. Yeah, we've got an hour and a half probably. But look, the lake is lower today. Oh yeah, huh? This was covered with water yesterday, maybe right there. It's gone down some. That's the view. When we were in Indonesia, sunset was like what, 5:30 probably. Yeah. Dark at six. Every night, all year long, no change really. It's pretty much the same all the time. But uh, but here it's getting into summertime. 
it's still spring, but you know what I mean? It's getting towards summer, so the days are getting longer. Probably up here, I bet, in like late June, I bet 10 o'clock, and it'll just be getting dark. That's my guess anyway. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I think we're gonna have a good fire there, buddy. Yeah, me too. There we go. Nice, that was great. Good job, setting. Thank you. It's going good. Seather, nice. your skyscraper's going good. Yeah. That'll be a good start to a fire tonight. Got all that wood to burn. Not all of it, of course, but we'll burn a lot of that wood tonight. Sir, what you making? I'm trying to make a poker. A poker? I think I cut it a little too, too short down. Hmm. So it's going to get a little tight. A poker for what? Hot dog. Oh, a hot dog poker, good. Yeah, you can put it on there. Put it on there going this way, though. Don't toss it. Just set it on there nice and gentle. I'll do it later. Okay. Too much fire right now. Let it down. Let it die down a little bit. That's a beautiful fire. Yeah, it looks good, ma'am. It is nice and warm. Thanks, Heather. Good job, buddy. Thanks. See that guy? How's it looking? Pretty good. Just yeah. A little bit more. Cool. Right here. Yeah. Getting it down there and wow, the fire is nice and hot. Yeah. But you got it right by the coals. Uh huh, which cooks it quickly. Nice. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Heating up the chili. Chili beans. Chili. Yeah. Almost ready. Almost. For you guys in Indonesia, what we're cooking right now here in the pot is often referred to as chili, just plain chili, which I know is different than how you would use chili in English, right? You would use chili to refer to. Um, hot peppers or chili sauce, right? Like a hot sauce. But um, this is what we call chili. You could also call it chili beans or chili con carne with beans. And so it goes by a few different names, but I think most commonly it's just chili. You're gonna have a bowl of chili. Beans, meat, and spices like cayenne pepper, paprika, um, onions, garlic. It's all mixed in there together. Got our hot dogs roasted. Right now we're toasting the buns. See, ooh, look at that, toasty. Really toasty good. with a little bit of black. Woo, perfecto. Ooh, That'll work. A Little bit blacker than we like, but I think it'll work good. Black stripe. <laughs> these, are, these are striped hot dogs. As we put the chili beans on them. Oh, you got a zebra. We kind of smother thing. them with chili beans. Oh, yeah. That's good. Now if we were having fancy chili dogs, we'd have onions and cheese on them as well. But these aren't fancy ones. These are camp ones, guys. So how are they, Jules? It's really good. It's a good yeah. chili. Pretty good? Yeah. It's like less than $2 for a can of chili? Yep. And we bought three cans. And the uh, hot, hot dogs? dogs? They were less than a dollar, too. Yeah. 98 cents, I think. Was it? Uh-huh. Good deal, then. Yep. Seth, what are you eating? Cheetos. What kind of Cheetos are those? Chipotle Ranch Flaming Hot. Chipotle Ranch Flaming Hot. Yep. <laughs> Are they good? good? Yeah. Can I try one? Yeah. I can too. <laughs> mm. They're good. Pretty good. Like pretty good. <laughs> Not too spicy, but they do have a little bit of spice in them. Yeah. Fire is burnt down pretty good, guys. Now it's time to go ahead and give these fire logs a try. See what they do. Let's see here. We got some instructions in here. Whoa, look at that. Lighting instructions. Huh, you can cut it up with a hatchet. Light it on fire like that. You make them into a Put them on the fire like that. Huh, interesting. So we can just put them on there. We can just light them up. Really? Yeah, because see, like once you get a fire going, you just put them on top. These are local fire logs. It's right here in town. Local. Wow. So that thing's pretty cool, man. It's just pressed wood. They must have a super giant strong machine to press that oh, into a log. So, so that's it right there, guys. It's just a super hard, super dense pressed wood log. The outside's really smooth and slick. And uh, smell, mm -hmm. give it a smell. What's it smell like? Sawdust. Really? Yeah, it like pine? Like yeah, it smells like a wood shop. Yeah. Uh-huh, mm. smells good. Yeah. It does smell good. Let's put it on the fire and see what happens. Right there, so there. See that other one there. Hopefully they don't roll off. Oh, we'll put the other one right there. 
All right, it's perfect. Look at that. We'll check back in in a little bit with you guys. It's just after 8.30 and the sun just set behind those mountains. Bam, just set right there. There's a big bird flying over there too, but he's probably too far away for you guys to see. But it is 8.30 at night. Actually, it's like 8.40 right now. And we got these logs on here. They are burning, but I'm not too impressed with them. I think regular wood for a campfire burns a little bit better. Can you see him? He's swimming away. He's gonna be coming ashore here in a minute. But he's gonna be way over there coming ashore. We're gonna walk over here and see if we can't get close. Oh, he's turning away from the shore. Let's run. I bet he can't swim all that fast. Ooh, he just went under. <laughs> he went under, Seth. He dove under, we lost him. But that was pretty cool. He's a pretty big beaver. Oh, good. Well, there's a dead fish right there. <laughs> I bet somebody caught it and it died. Didn't make it back alive after they released him. That's just a little tiny guy. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we lost our beaver. Been cool though, if we could have got a good close up for you guys. But he went away. It's almost nine o'clock. I bet, I bet 9.30, it'll finally be dark. There's not even one star out yet. Nope, not even one. I'm gonna have to take back my kind of negative review of the fire logs. They're actually burning really good now. After they finally started burning well, then we just kind of broke them up a little bit and we've got a great fire. It's consistent, it's clean, there's like no smoke and it just keeps burning and keeps burning. So uh, those fire logs are actually pretty cool. Here's the sunset guys. It is now 9.30 at night. If you want to follow our great American road trip here this summer, go ahead and click my face right down there and subscribe to the channel. Hope you have a really great day and keep smiling. <laughs>